Welcome. My name is Gail. Did you know that this pH electrode is a precisely designed scientific instrument? Depending on how we maintain and handle our thermoscientific Orion pH electrode, it can perform like a well-tuned race car, but age, neglect, and contamination can ruin its performance. Today, we'll cover seven common mistakes that can negatively impact our electrode. We'll discover how these mistakes can cause problems and what we can do instead. Just like the right pit stops can make or break an auto race, the right handling and maintenance of our pH electrode can help keep our work on track. Leaving our electrode in water, pH buffer, or the last sample tested, are all common mistakes when it comes to proper electrode storage. Leaving the fill hole open, having little or no fill solution left, or letting crystals form inside can all interfere with performance. Dry storage is even worse. These issues can cause the pH bulb to become depleted of ions or coated with components of the sample, and the fill solution can become compromised. Crystals will clog the junction and prevent good readings. A dry electrode will not perform at all. To avoid these issues, use a specialized pH electrode storage solution, close the fill hole before storing, top up the fill solution, and ensure no crystals are formed inside. Pulling our electrode out of the storage bottle can create a vacuum effect while pushing the electrode into the bottle can create pressure. A vacuum can pull the fill solution out of the electrode. This shortens the life of a gel-filled electrode and wastes the fill solution of a refillable electrode. Pressure pushes air through the junction and into the electrolyte fill solution around the junction. This interrupts the electrical contact between the sample and the reference, causing unstable readings and even electrode failure in some cases. We can avoid these issues by unscrewing the cap first, then removing the bottle to avoid a vacuum. When storing the electrode, push the cap onto the electrode first, then place the electrode into the bottle and tighten the cap to avoid introducing air bubbles. Not maintaining the fill solution on refillable electrodes can lead to a variety of issues. There are a number of items to look out for, such as low level of electrolyte fill solution, old crystallized or discolored fill solution, or the fill hole left closed during testing. Low fill solution or a closed fill hole reduces hydraulic pressure and slows the rate of electrolyte fill solution outflow. We need this outflow to hinder entry of the sample into the electrode and enable constant renewal of the fill solution in the junction. If not, we'll see a slowed response and sample solution getting into the electrolyte fill solution. This causes drift and loss of calibration and can lead to an undesirable memory effect. To prevent this, open the fill hole during testing, top up the fill solution, and change out the electrolyte fill solution, draining and refilling it every two weeks. Depending on our application, we may have to replace or refill the fill solution more or less frequently. Incorrectly rinsing the electrode is another common mistake. Failure to rinse the electrode before moving to a different sample, not using enough water, or using tap water can interfere with the integrity of your analysis. Carryover of the previous sample, including calibration buffers, can cause contamination of the next sample, increase memory effect issues, and slow down the response of our electrode. Improper rinsing, such as with impure water like tap water, can contaminate low ionic strength samples, such as pure water, boiler water, cooling water, and rain water. When rinsing, use a generous amount of purified water, like reagent grade water, deionized water, or distilled water, and rinse everything that touches the solution. Failure to correct temperature can degrade the accuracy of pH readings. Examples include not using an automatic temperature compensation, ATC probe, or triode electrode, leaving the temperature set to a manual 25 degrees C, and not measuring the sample temperature. 
Temperature can change the value of the pH buffers, interfering with the calibration. Temperature also changes the slope of the electrode, causing it to be incorrect. In this case, pH readings of warmer or cooler samples will not be accurate. The farther the sample temperature from the manually set temperature, the more severe the error. Use an ATC probe or a triode electrode with an integrated temperature sensor. This allows the correct pH value to be assigned during calibration and corrects the calibrated slope for temperature effects when samples are not at room temperature. Reusing buffers or using expired or improperly stored buffers can cause invalid calibrations. Improper storage of buffers, including not closing them tightly or letting them sit in the sun or near a heat source. Reused buffers, expired buffers, or improperly stored buffers can become contaminated, evaporate, pick up gases and particles from the air, even grow mold and bacteria. These conditions accelerate the aging of the buffer and change its properties. When this happens, the buffers will no longer have the certified value we expect, and the calibration will be invalid. To avoid these issues, pour fresh buffers into clean beakers. Use and dispose of them at the end of the day. Check the expiration date and the open dawn date, especially for pH 10. Discard any expired or compromised buffers. Buy buffers in smaller bottles if needed, store pH buffers tightly closed, and away from heat and light. When we don't periodically clean our electrode, the junction can clog and the bulb can get dirty and coated, leaving the electrode in the last dirty sample or neglecting to rinse or wipe the sample off before storage are practices that will lead to trouble. Under these conditions, the electrode junction can clog and the bulb becomes dirty and coated. As a result, pH readings can drift and become slow or erratic. The calibration does not hold and the slope can go out of the acceptance range. For good performance, rinse the electrode before storage. Wipe it if needed, wash it in 1% soap, or soak it using a special electrode cleaning solution. Follow the package instructions, replace the fill solution, and soak overnight. Now that we've covered the seven mistakes and how we can correct them, let's summarize what we can do to keep our pH measurement system performing like a well-tuned race car. Tune-up number one, correct electrode storage. Use a specialized pH electrode storage solution and close the fill hole before storage. This prevents depletion of the glass pH sensor, crystals clogging the junction, and shortened use life. Tune-up number two, Storage bottle savvy. Remember to loosen and unscrew the cap from the bottle before removing or inserting the electrode into the bottle. This prevents loss of fill solution, especially non-refillable gels, and unwanted bubbles in the junction. Tune-up number three, fill solution care. Regularly drain and refill the electrode to keep the electrode functioning as expected. Low, old, crystallized, or contaminated fill solution will cause slow response, drift, and loss of calibration. Tune-up number four, correct rinsing. Use generous amounts of purified water to prevent cross-contamination and bias due to memory effects. Tune-up number five, temperature compensation. Use an ATC or triode electrode to ensure that the pH readings are accurate no matter what temperature your samples are at. Tune-up number six, calibration buffer integrity. Every day, use a fresh pour of non-expired buffer that has been properly stored. Compromised pH buffers will compromise the pH test results. Tune-up number seven, keeping it clean. Clean electrodes before storage to keep the electrode operating at its best. A dirty electrode can drift become slow, and give unreliable readings, so keep it clean. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video helpful. When we take the proper pit stops to care for our electrode, it will take care of us. For accurate results in pH measurement and testing, 
you can rely on Thermal Scientific Orion pH electrodes. To learn more, visit thermofisher.com slash electrochemistry.